This was a flat image until I transformed it into a background for my animation using camera projection techniques. The technique I'm going to show you is popular in film, animation and game cutscenes where dynamic camera movement is essential. I'll demonstrate three projection methods. Image planes, project UV from view and the technique using an external image editor with Blender. Alright, let's get started. Before jumping into Blender, let's sketch out our composition and determine how the camera will move. Create a thumbnail sketch to outline your idea. To add depth, think in layers that move at different speeds based on their distance from the camera. Aim for at least three layers – foreground, midground and background. A rough sketch will help visualize your scene, so don't sweat the details just yet. You can take this even further – export your layers as PNGs with transparency. In Blender, place your camera, go to File, Import, Images as Planes and import your layers. Align them to fill the frame. Don't forget to enable the add-on Images as Planes to see that import option. Place your 3D cursor to your camera using the Cursor to Active command and change the Transform Pivot to 3D Cursor. This allows you to position your image planes in 3D space with Scale tool while maintaining the final frame. I use this trick to model a character from a 2D image, as shown in another video. For the character I used Mixamo from Adobe and tweaked the animation to fit my vision. Combining it with the background helped me refine the composition and adding camera movement allowed me to plan the entire shot more effectively. I picked a frame somewhere in the middle of the animation, rendering all the layers as PNGs to rebuild in Krita. This is my final sketch I will be using for painting. Ok, time to bring your scene to life. Gather reference images that inspire you. Start with a liner sketch, then dive into color. This process can be tedious, especially if you are hard on yourself. I faced many struggles with the brushes before eventually going back to my most used ones. But remember, this is a great chance to improve your skills, and the final result will be also rewarding. Organize your layers to streamline the export process later. Group your layers, foreground, multiple background layers and midground elements. This will make exporting layers much easier. Now, let's bring your painting into Blender. Set a static camera in the same position used to export your sketch to Krita. Using images as planes is the quickest way to add depth. You've already done that, remember? This technique works well for cartoon styles and distant background elements. Like those trees I have far in the background. Use your rough sketch as a guide for placing your elements in 3D space. For the next technique we will create a simple 3D model for the ground layer. Don't worry, the model is super basic. Model it from a plane and ensure it fits the ground within the camera view. Once your model is ready, create a material and add an image node. Select the texture you want to project, switch back to camera view, go into edit mode and select project from view in the UV menu to create a UV map based on what you see. This method is widely used in films but has its limitations like UV stretching and overlapping, which can restrict your camera movement. To overcome that, you will have to rebake the texture into proper UVs. It makes this approach less streamlined. But here's where the next method shines. We'll use custom UVs to project textures from different angles without stretching. For the model of our main tree, create a material and add an image node. Instead of loading an image, create a new one this time. A 2K or 4K texture usually does the trick. 
Unwrap your model and now you have clean UVs. Select the image node in the shader graph, switch back to camera view, enable texture editing mode and in the top right corner press D options button. Set the resolution to match aspect ratio of your 2D illustration and hit quick edit to make a snapshot of your scene and open it in your external editor. You can set this up in Blender Preferences under the Application section in the File Path tab. I use Krita as my external editor. In Krita I now have this file open. Align your image on top, turn off the background and save the file. Back in Blender, press Apply, boom! Your image now is projected onto your custom UVs. You might ask, but how is it different from the previous method? The difference is that now you can paint from any angle and fill in gaps without texture stretching. Change the view angle, hit quick edit again and paint in your favorite to the editor as you normally do. This small detail makes this method ideal for painting more complex objects for the scenes with more complex camera movement. Let's say you need a 360 turn around something. Now you can do that. Create as many image textures as you need for one object and do as many projections as you need from any angle using Quick Edit tool. Also you can mix techniques for one object seamlessly. For the leaves around the tree and tree edges, I extruded the geometry, applied a new material with transparency and use the project from view technique this time. Now that you've learned about the techniques, repeat the process for every layer and object you want to add. After you're done with layers, it's time to render. Add some flare with god rays and particles if you want. In compositing I also use glare and defocus nodes to add depth and bloom. And there you have it. A complete shot with a stunning background for your animation, using three simple projection techniques in Blender. The final step, after you've subscribed and hit that like button, is to integrate your character into the scene. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.